apply the relationship between the electron arrangement of elements and their position. Well, here's the periodic table, and we just have to go up to calcium, which is spinning there, for SL. For HL, you're going to go beyond it and learn a different way of doing this. But you also need to know the SL way, if you're doing HL. Let's start with hydrogen, that has one electron in orbit around the nucleus. Atomic number is one, Z equals one, and the electron arrangement is one. Helium, well that has two electrons, and the electronic arrangement is two. Now it doesn't carry on like this all the way through, uh, lithium goes a little crazy. The electron in lithium, it, it doesn't go into that shell, that first shell. That first shell is full with two electrons. So that third electron goes into, into another shell, the second shell if you will. So the electronic arrangement now is 2, 1. Continuing on with beryllium, beryllium has an electronic arrangement of 2, 2. Boron, with five electrons in total, has an electronic arrangement of 2, 3. Now, I'm not going to go all the way through at this speed. I'm going to go crazy. Let's speed up a bit. So carbon, that's 2, 4. Nitrogen, 2, 5. Oxygen, 2, 6. Fluorine, 2, 7. And finally, neon is 2, 8. That ring is now full, the second ring, the second electron shell is full with eight. And so sodium has one more electron to put in, and that's 281. Now maybe you've noticed that the final term in the electron arrangement is equal to the group number. Sodium's in group one, and the final term must be one. And there are also three numbers in the electronic arrangement, because there are three shells. The first number refers to period one, shell one, Second number to period two, shell two, and the third number to period three, shell three. So the number of numbers gives you the period that you will find the element in. So which element is this? Hopefully you chose phosphorus. It's in group five in the third period, which is phosphorus, P. So let's jump a little forward and go to the very final one which is calcium. You can see that calcium, the final number is two, calcium's in group two, and it's got four shells. There's four numbers. So the third shell can hold eight in SL. Shh, in HL it can hold 18. Don't tell the SL kids. Oh, that's pretty.